A couple of weeks ago, I was interviewed by Michael Wagner and Sam Hawking in the Special Audio Monthly podcast. You can watch the whole interview by following the link in the description below. However, the thing that resonated with me the most was when they asked me about my proudest moment in the short history of audio brewers. And well, I made this video to talk about precisely that. Our proudest achievement in audio brewers is the newest update of AB Imager Upscaler. I'm Alejandro and we are the audio brewers. The news update of AB Imager Upscaler is so significant that we have decided that it was best to create a whole new video about it since I have rewritten the algorithm from scratch so that now you can upscale any Ambisonics recording up to seventh order. That means that now, even if you have a first order Ambisonics recording, you can upscale it in real time to seventh order and, well, you're going to increase the special awareness it can offer and its resolution. Now, I could do the tests on the DAW and show you how it will work in recordings that were made in the past, but I have decided to do things a little bit more in an unorthodox manner, and I'm going to be doing the tests live in the studio. I'm going to be recording audio simultaneously with a first order Ambisonics microphone and with a third order Ambisonics microphone, and I'm going to be showing you how the upscaler automatically upscales both the signals to seventh order Ambisonics. So let's go to the studio, and I'm going to show you how the setup has been being organized. So I'm here in the studio and as you can see I have a couple of microphones in front of me. One is the SPC microphone which records in third order ambisonics and the other one is the Rode Soundfield microphone which records in first order ambisonics. They are placed right in the middle of the studio where the sound engineer will be or where the listener will be and they're looking north so that whenever there is sound coming from the front center you can listen to the sound in the front center. I have two machines here. One of the machines is my playing machine. As you can see, I have three monophonic tracks which are going to be playing monophonic audio and I have added a panning plugin that I'm going to be using to move the monophonic signal around my room in my 7.1.4 array. And then I have a fourth track which is going to be a signal generator so that I can generate a little bit of white noise and make the signal a, bit, a little bit more busy. Everything is going to be played in my studio and is going to be captured by, bo by both these microphones, which is going to go to my second machine, which is my recording machine. In my recording machine, I have my um, sound devices mix pre recording the sound field microphone, and then through USB-C, I'm recording the third order ambisonic signal from the SPC microphone. As you can see here, I have a session uh, where I'm recording the SPC microphone and the Rode microphone. Um, the Rode microphone, I'm converting the signal to B format so that I can decode it later. And then I have a couple of auxiliary tracks that are decoding the signal to 916. So first of all, I have my Rode uh, microphone, which you can see here is a first order ambisonic signal, and I'm decoding to 916. And then I have the SPC microphone, which is a third order ambisonic signal, and I am again um, decoding to a 916 signal. And then I have a couple more auxiliary tracks um, one of them is for the signal of the road upscaled, which is the same signal that goes to the road, but with my upscaler inserted. There is nothing going on in the plugin. Everything is automatic. The only thing I'm doing is modifying the gain so that it matches a little bit the original um, gain. This upscaled signal is going again to an AB decoder, which is now receiving a seventh order ambisonic signal and is being decoded in 916. And the same is happening with the SPC microphone. Um, with my upscaler uh, plugin, the gain is modified so that it matches the original microphone. And then the seventh order ambisonic signal is being decoded again to 916. All the signals are being sent to my Dolby Atmos composer um, track through a beam. So each of these signals um, goes to a beam, which contains a multidimensional object, a 916 object, and each of these objects is going to my Dolby Atmos composer. So if I open here my Dolby Atmos composer, you can see that you have all the multidimensional objects, which are four, one for the SPC mic, one for the upscaled, and one for the road mic, and one for the upscaled. So I am recording um, this signal so that we can be comparing their qu its quality. 
Um, finally, I'm sending my SPC microphone to my headphones just in case I need to check the signal. And now as you can hear, I am talking on the right side of your head. So if I stand up and I start moving around you, you will hear that my voice um, changes the position around your head and I will be changing right now in post where you are listening from. You either are listening from the road um, original signal, from the upscale road signal, from the SPC mic or from the upscaled SPC mic signal. If I place myself right in front of the listener, you will hear that my voice is coming right from the center, front center, and as I move us around, you will see that my voice is also changing position. All this I'm doing it so that you can differentiate between the original signals of each microphone and the upscaled version of their signal. So if I go closer to the microphone, because there are less reflections around you, you will hear that the signal is much more directional between the first order ambisonics, the seventh order ambisonics, the third order ambisonics, and the upscaled um, seventh order ambisonics of the SPC mic. I can go as close as I want, and you will always hear that my voice is much, much more directional when I go closer. I can also go above your head, or I could go below, but you know, there is no below in Dolby Atmos, so, but still, I could do it. And if I go further from the microphone, you will see that there is less directionality because there are more reflections around the room, but still the upscale signal is quite different from the original signal. So, okay, let's go to my session. And I am going to start playing with the monophonic signals and see how each of the microphones capture these signals and how the signal behaves. Let me just mute these tracks here. And I am going to press play on this signal and I'm going to start moving it around you. Now I'm going to add another signal um, to the sound so that you can hear how two monophonic signals behave in the upscaled version of the recording and the original recording and you can compare everything. I'm talking at the same time that I'm recording music again so that you can hear the differences between my voice which is in the right, eyes, the right side of your head and right now the monophonic signal which is over there. Okay, let's insert another track.
Okay, and this is how three sources of sound um, can be upscaled to 7th order ambisonics. Of course, the upscaling from the 3rd to 7th has much more quality than that one from 1st to 7th, because in the 3rd order ambisonics uh, original recording, there is much more quality than in a 1st order ambisonics, but the difference between the 1st order ambisonics and the 7th order ambisonics is quite important. Now, I'm going to do another type of experiment. I'm going to add white noise to all my speakers to make the signal a little bit more dirty so that in theory the um, upscaler has it harder to upscale the signal but you will see that it's pretty cool i'm going to unmute this track and i'm going to add a little bit of white noise so you can see now that if i go to my spc mic plugin you see that there is noise all around but at the same time, you see that my voice is uh, much louder than the noise. Let me just make this a little bit louder. And what happens if I start walking again around the microphone with the white noise sounding all in all my speakers? I can walk around the room and supposedly you will hear my voice with much more quality, even though there is a lot of noise coming from every corner of the room. Okay. So let's do the same with the three tracks that I tried with later before and see how it works. And like that, you can hear how the upscaler um, creates um, much more detail and with much more resolution type of sounds. Um, I don't really know how this video is gonna come out because everything I'm doing is live. So I'm just doing you know, a recording. I'm just going to do the processing later. And you will be able to download the four Ambisonics files. You will be able to download the original first order Ambisonics from the road, the original third order Ambisonics from the SPC mic, and the seventh order Ambisonics upscaled from each one so that you can do your own decoding with your own decoder, with your own algorithms, with your favorite plugins, and maybe binauralize it with your own um, uh, renderer or plugin, whatever you use for creating binaural mixes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the quality of um, this upscaler. There is nothing like it right now. We are actually upscaling a first order ambisonics into seventh order, and we are super proud of what we have achieved. My name is Alejandro, and we are the Audio Brewers, and I will see you on the next one. Cheers!